This video will show you how to name the simplest organic compounds. Organic compounds are compounds that contain carbon. Remember that carbon monoxide, carbon dioxide, carbon tetrachloride, and other carbon halogen compounds are not considered organic, even though they have carbon in them. Carbon chemistry and carbon compounds are so important because carbon has the unique ability to form long chains, and even rings, by bonding with other carbon atoms. We will study organic chemistry in more detail at a later date. The simplest organic compounds are called hydrocarbons because they only contain the elements hydrogen and carbon. Hydrocarbons are found in fossil fuels like coal, natural gas, and petroleum. Naming hydrocarbons, and in fact any organic compound, is based on the number of carbon atoms in the compound. These 10 hydrocarbons illustrate that fact, and you should be able to write the names of these hydrocarbons by noting the number of carbons in the formula. Note that the names all end in A-N-E, ane, and that the prefixes for the first four hydrocarbons are not the same as the normal Greek prefixes used for inorganic compounds and hydrates. The one carbon hydrocarbon is called methane. Two is ethane. Three is propane. Four carbons in the hydrocarbon makes it butane. Five is pentane, and so on, using the Greek prefixes. Some of my former students created this mnemonic device and a poster to help you remember the prefixes used for organic compounds. Mary eats peanut butter pancakes happily hopping over nine dinosaurs. As in meth, eth, prop, bute, pent, hex, hept, oct, non, and dec. This concludes this video on naming the simplest organic compounds. If you forget the organic prefixes or how to name hydrocarbons, be sure to read the appropriate pages in your notes and book. Go ahead and watch this video as much as you need to. Leave a message in the YouTube comments if you have any questions.